Living is expensive. It seems like even just breathing fresh air is no longer affordable. After all, the price increases of almost everything in recent months have been astronomical, but you'll be pleased to know that most things you purchase and use daily aren't the most expensive things to buy. Well, at least not yet. From delicious saffron to illicit substances you should never try, here are 20 most expensive substances on Earth. Number 20. Antimatter When scientists discover the most expensive substance in the universe, you expect them to say they've found a new, rare type of gold or maybe a particularly hard-to-find spice used in cooking. But the true most expensive substance in the universe is antimatter. Antimatter is the opposite of normal matter. It has the same mass as matter, but the electrical charge is the opposite. Forming antimatter involves bonding antiparticles like positrons and antipositrons together to make antimatter like antihydrogen. They do this by slowing down high-energy antiprotons and colliding them with positrons. But you might be surprised at just how much it costs to create. Currently, antimatter costs around $62.5 trillion dollars per gram, which makes it the most expensive substance on Earth. The costs are mainly associated with the tech needed to produce it. The CERN Super Collider, which plays a pivotal role in antimatter creation, cost about $4.75 billion to build over a decade and must be cooled using liquid helium. It has a yearly operating budget of $1 billion, and electricity to run this 10-mile large beast is upwards of $23 million. Imagine receiving a power bill that expensive. You'd experience cardiac arrest. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Truffles. Truffles are fungi that, while similar to mushrooms, aren't mushrooms. They're just truffles. And if you know anything about food, you'll know they're expensive. White truffles can cost as much as $4,000 per pound, while the more affordable black truffles might set you back up to $800 per pound. Fortunately, a little goes a long way, so you don't need very much of them to inject truffle flavoring like sweetness, juiciness, nuttiness, and oakiness to your dishes. But given the similarity to mushrooms and the fact that they grow as a fungus, you might be wondering why they're so costly. If you thought keeping your houseplants alive was hard, try growing truffles. They are the epitome of complex. They grow underground in wild forests, but only for a few months of the year, if the conditions are right. They only grow near the roots of certain tree species and must have cool winters, damp springs, and reasonably warm summers with moderate rain. It can take around six or seven years for them to grow to a decent size to harvest, and you have a very very short period of time to actually harvest them. Then there's the actual harvesting process. They grow underground, so you need specially trained dogs to sniff them out. Traditionally, truffle hunters and farmers used pigs, but you couldn't rely on the pigs to not eat them. As rare and expensive as truffles are, you can purchase them in specialty food shops. Number 18. Saffron. Many cooks love working with a wide range of spices, but one might frequently be missing from your spice rack due to the costs associated with owning and using it. Saffron, while delicious, is believed to be the most expensive spice in the world. The tiny red threads we use in our cooking form part of the female flower's reproductive system and have a vibrant color and earthly, floral flavor that enhances nearly any dish. In the 1500s, saffron was produced in Iran and India and was enjoyed for its medicinal benefits. It was also used to dye royal garments. These days, its culinary uses make it the most desirable, and many top chefs include saffron dishes on their menus. Real saffron can set you back over $10,000 per kilogram, but most people purchase it by the ounce, which is still close to $60. The market for this one spice alone is believed to be worth upwards of $600 million. Many factors contribute to its price, such as the short 
harvesting seasons, in which you can only harvest saffron once per year for two weeks. It's also quite a labor-intensive spice, with only three saffron pieces cultivated from each flower. You need to harvest 75,000 flowers for just one pound of saffron. It also doesn't grow very easily and prefers dry climates with moderate temperatures. Number 17. Iranian Beluga Caviar as delicious as some people find caviar to be, it's not something they'd eat every day. And it's not because they don't want to, it's because it's ridiculously expensive. Especially beluga caviar, which is the roe from the Huso Huso beluga sturgeon. This caviar can cost up to $4,500 per pound, and is the most expensive of all caviar types. Much of the cost is associated with the type of fish the caviar is harvested from. The beluga sturgeon is mostly found in the Caspian and sea, and occasionally in the Adriatic Sea and the Black Sea. It is critically endangered, which has caused a bit of controversy since fishing businesses are literally harvesting the potential babies of a fish with dwindling numbers. The Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species stopped all trade with caviar-producing regions, and the United States made it illegal to import beluga sturgeon caviar in 2005. However, some restrictions are being lifted, as wild populations in some areas are starting to bounce back. In 2016, Sturgeon Aqua Farms in Florida obtained a permit exemption for beluga sturgeon and its caviar in the United States. Number 16. Gold whether you have gold coins, gold jewelry, or gold artifacts, you have something precious and expensive in your possession. While gold's value is determined by its purity, anything containing gold will be far more costly than another piece of jewelry that doesn't have it. The most expensive of all gold available is 24 karat. Even though it's the softest type, it is 100% pure, so every lower number before 24 carats is worth less. For as long as anyone can remember, gold has always been expensive. Even during ancient Egyptian times, it was a reflection of wealth and standing in society. Interestingly, gold's value also relates to how we see it. We all know and agree that it's valuable, so it will continue to be valuable. Its metallic qualities, beauty, scarcity, and extraction difficulty all add to its unbelievable price tag. So how much does gold actually cost? Well, as of December 2022, gold is around $1,790 two dollars per ounce. However, if you look at historical charts, its worth fluctuates dramatically. For example, it was worth under three hundred dollars in 1970 and four hundred fifty six dollars in 2001. It then experienced a significant value increase until 2013 when it started dropping down until recovering in 2020 and being worth more than two thousand one hundred dollars. The value of gold is often linked to real life financial events. Number 15. Rhodium when you think of precious metals, you probably think of gold and silver, but would rhodium ever come to mind? Probably not. Very few people know about rhodium, even though it's an extremely rare and expensive metal, trading above $10,000 per ounce. Rhodium is a shiny, corrosion-resistant metal that's desirable in many industries, such as jewelry, automobile manufacturing, electrical, and chemical. It has become so valuable in recent years because of the demand for it and how scarce it is. The more in demand something becomes, and the harder it is to come by, the more it costs to buy. That's just how it goes. At least 80% of all available rhodium is used in catalytic converters, which help cars clean their own exhaust emissions. This precious metal is particularly effective at breaking down nitrous oxide molecules, which are the poisonous gas coming from fossil fuel-powered things like cars, trucks, power plants, and turbines. Believe it or not, we even use rhodium to make nitric acid and the menthol component of mint-flavored chewing gum. We encounter rhodium in various forms throughout our daily lives, but our most direct contact with it probably comes from jewelry. The bright, shiny, white color it gives off in jewelry makes it particularly desirable, along with its scratch and corrosion resistance. Number 14. Platinum Think of expensive precious metals and gold would come to mind, but platinum is pretty up there too. It's worth upwards of $900 per troy ounce. However, just like gold, 
the price can fluctuate. Platinum comes from platinum ores like copperite and sperylite and is also a byproduct of ore that's been refined for nickel and copper. For quite a while now, South Africa has been one of the leading platinum contributors, but when mines went into lockdown in 2020, the world experienced a shortage that drove the prices up to where they currently sit. Its rarity in general also contributes to its high price tag. More than 1,700 tons of gold is mined annually, compared to around just 133 tons of platinum. It's also believed that there's only around 200 million ounces in the world, compared to more than 5 billion ounces of gold. We also don't have any significant platinum stockpiles as we do with gold, and it's far more difficult to mine. As a result, it costs nearly $2,000 to produce a single ounce of platinum. This is more than twice what it costs to produce gold. Number 13. Rhino Horn The global rhino population is declining, and it's heartbreaking. There are only 26,000 rhinos left, and black rhino populations declined by as much as 96% over a 20-year period. Do people want them as pets? Is their meat or skin particularly desirable? It's actually their horns. In 2022, it would cost you $400,000 to purchase a single kilogram worth of Asian rhino horn and about $20,000 per kilogram for an African rhino horn. The demand for rhino horns in Asian markets is driving rhinos to the brink of extinction, and it's incredibly frustrating for those doing everything in their power to keep them alive. It's believed that poachers in Africa have been responsible for killing 10,000 rhinos in the last decade. But why is an animal's horn so valuable? Well, rhino horns have been crushed into a fine powder to form part of traditional Asian medicines for many years. People believe it's helpful to stop nosebleeds, get rid of fevers, and solve all manner of medical problems. When trade bans were implemented in Asian countries in the 1980s and 90s, supply was quashed, demand went down, and the price followed. We saw very few rhinos poached in South Africa during this time, but demand skyrocketed in 2008, and the price skyrocketed with it. It's believed that new demand in Vietnam caused the price rise when a rumor swept the country that rhino horn powder cured a politician's cancer. That rumor remains today and some doctors in Vietnam even vouch for its cancer-curing properties. Number 12. Creme de la Mer how much would you pay to keep your youthful looks? Some people wouldn't spend a dime, instead happy to let their fine lines and wrinkles tell their story about a life well lived. Others want to stop every delicate and deep line from forming for as long as possible, which means that they don't think twice about spending more than 500 bucks on a 250 milliliter container of Creme de la Mer anti-aging cream if it means they're going to enjoy smooth skin for as long as possible. Creme de la Mer is undoubtedly one of the most expensive cosmetic products in the world, even though it's been revealed that most ingredients within a 250 milliliter container cost no more than $25. And the average person can find that out, since all cosmetic and toiletry products in Europe must display their full list of ingredients. Cosmetic chemist Will Buchanan was intrigued by Creme de la Mer, the hype surrounding it, and its enormous price tag. The cream consisted of everyday ingredients like petrol petrolatum, glycerin, and eucalyptus leaf oil. He also calculated the costs of these ingredients and found that even though a 100 milliliter pot of creme de la mer costs around $10 to make, it retails for about $160. Number 11. Heroin any drug addiction can be expensive when you factor in both economic and non-economic costs. Drugs ruin people's lives, and many people find themselves at rock bottom after succumbing to the temptation. However, there's no denying that heroin is one of the more expensive. In 2018, a study examined how much each drug habit costs, and heroin came out on top. The study highlighted that heroin, oxycodone, and cocaine addictions would cost more than a million dollars over 50 years 
years, but heroin was by far the most expensive. One gram of cocaine per day over five years would cost a drug user more than $112,000, followed by 80 milligrams of oxycodone daily at $132,405. If you were a heroin addict using it 10 times a day, you would end up spending $318,500 in five years. In saying that, many sources report that heroin is typically more affordable and easier to get than prescription opioids. Most people will spend about 15 or 20 bucks on 0.1 grams of the stuff, but purity can affect the price, as can availability. The more heroin available on the market, the more affordable it is. Number 10. Methamphetamine Crystal methamphetamine is a powerful stimulant often compared to cocaine. It's addictive, produces physiological effects, and is most often smoked with a glass pipe. However, it can also be injected. How much meth costs can depend on the form and purity. Powdered meth is typically less expensive than crystal meth, and crystal meth tends to be pure, hence the higher price tag. Meth users who purchase one pound quantities typically don't get change out of $10,000 to $30,000, but you might spend $3,500 to $20,000 for powdered meth. But most illicit drug users aren't hitting their streets looking for one-pound quantities. They're looking for single doses, known as hits, which can be as little as five bucks. They might also purchase one gram lots of meth, which can cost as little as 20 bucks or as much as 500 bucks, depending on the purity. People who spend less than $50 can expect the meth to be cut with other substances, such as hay fever medication. Many factors can impact the cost of meth, such as location, of availability, and purity. When law enforcement interrupts supply, there's less of it around, driving up the price. Some parts of the world also produce and sell more of it than others, so it can often be cheaper and more accessible in Mexico and the south of the United States than it would be in small towns and areas far removed from drug dealing and criminal rings. Number 9. LSD some drugs are easy to produce, so they're affordable to buy. Others are more complicated, which means they're more expensive. LSD falls into that category. LSD, also known as acid, or more formally, D-lysergic acid diethylamide, is an illegal drug you can purchase by the sheet, vial, hit, gram, or microgram. According to the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, a dose of LSD can cost between $5 and $25 to purchase. If you were to buy a sheet, the equivalent of around 100 hits, you could spend upwards of $200 to $1,000. But if you buy a tenth of a gram, the equivalent of 1,000 hits, you'd expect to pay around $3,000. A single gram is about $15,000, but people rarely purchase that much at a time. Like other drugs, and pretty much any substance to be honest, many factors contribute to the price. In the case of LSD, its purity, location, manufacturer, quantity, and the availability and demand can contribute to the street value. While it's not known to be addictive, it can be abused and might even lead people to try other, more addictive substances. Number 8. Plutonium Many people love accumulating valuable substances and items to show people how wealthy they are. But if you started collecting plutonium, one of the most expensive substances in the world, the authorities might begin looking into you. Plutonium is definitely one of the most expensive substances in the world at $4,000 per gram. Wow, it's almost as much as printer ink. But you typically only own it if you were trying to fuel a nuclear reactor or make a nuclear weapon. It's not something you just have on display in your home, like a prized piece of expensive artwork. This radioactive element was actually used in the nuclear weapons that devastated parts of Japan during World War too, and its only other primary use relates to nuclear reactors. But no matter what people intend on using it for, it's hard to find and incredibly expensive when you do find it. But why is it so expensive? Other, less costly materials are also used in nuclear weapons and nuclear plants after all. Well, it's because plutonium requires highly advanced facilities for plutonium separation. Producing weapons-grade plutonium would cost hundreds of thousands of dollars per pound, making it at least 10 times times more expensive than gold. Number 7. Tophite 
Tophite is a mineral that was long misidentified as another gem called spinel. It gets its name from Richard Toffa, who found the very first sample of it, a cut and polished gem, in 1945 in a jewelry shop in Dublin, Ireland. Even in the several years that followed its initial discovery, very few samples of it were known, and it remains among the rarest gemstone minerals worldwide. Richard Taffa had purchased many different precious stones from a jeweler and curiously discovered inconsistencies between spinels and taffites. He sent samples to a London Chamber of Commerce laboratory to be identified, and they told him they were unsure whether they were spinels or something else. In 1951, X-ray and chemical analyses revealed spinels and taffites were two different minerals. Taffite had beryllium, aluminum, and magnesium, and was the first known mineral to have both magnesium and beryllium as essential components. While incredibly rare, the mineral has been found in Sri Lanka, Tanzania, and China. It's typically found in carbonate rocks with mica, tourmaline, spinel, and fluorite. If you were to purchase a single gram of this gem, you'd expect to pay at least $20,000, and it generally sells for up to two $2,500 per carat, and that's if you can even find any. Number 6. Tritium have you got a spare 30,000 bucks burning a hole in your pocket? Well, you might be able to afford a single gram of tritium, a radioactive isotope from hydrogen that primarily exists in water form and is made by irradiating lithium metal in nuclear reactors. But even though it's commonly used to fuel nuclear weapons, it also has plenty of everyday functions. Small amounts of it are used in gun sights, watch dials, novelty items, and even exit signs because it can energize light producing phosphors. Even though tritium can be naturally occurring, it is scarce in this form, and we only have trace amounts in the atmosphere when gases and cosmic rays interact. However, we've been able to produce it artificially in nuclear reactors. We first learned about tritium in the early 1930s, when Ernest Rutherford, Paul Hartek, and Mark Oliphant experimented with it. However, it wasn't able to be isolated until the end of the 1930s, when Luis Alvarez and Robert Cornog discovered its radioactivity. You'd think we'd be making it pretty cheaply by now, but that is not the case. It's been at least $30,000 per gram for quite a long time now, and working fusion reactors need up to 200 kilograms of it per year. Number 5. Pay Night Painite is a rare borate mineral that was once misidentified as a ruby. It wasn't until the 1950s that we realized it was a new mineral species. British mineralogist and gem dealer C. D. Payne was the first to find it in Myanmar, and it was he who misidentified it before confirming it as a new mineral species and naming it after himself. Because of its rarity, even all these years later, it can set purchasers back up to $60,000 per carat. Painite features oxygen, aluminum, calcium, boron, and zirconium. Trace amounts of chromium and vanadium also give it its brown, red, and orange coloring. The reason why it's so rare is that boron and zirconium are rarely known to interact with each other in nature. Painites form in a naturally hexagonal shape, and so far, just a few have been cut into faceted gemstones. However, that might be set to change, along with its value. Several new painite sources have been explored surrounding Mogok in Myanmar, which has led to thousands more painite specimens being available. As a result, nearly anyone could head online and pay just a hundred bucks for a poor quality cut stone. A few better quality but still small stones also fetch tens of thousands of dollars. Number 4. Californium 252 Next to antimatter, Californium-252 is the second most expensive substance in the world. If you were to purchase just a single gram of it, it would set you back $27 million. According to experts, Californium-252 is the heaviest naturally occurring element on Earth and is typically found or created due to nuclear processes. But if you thought Californium-252 would be a sound investment option, it's really not. It only has a half-life of around three years 
Oh, and it's radioactive. That doesn't make it completely useless, though. It emits significant amounts of neutrons, which means it's ideal for finding gold and silver in metal ores. It's also suitable for its detection properties and analytical processes, and even for treating specific cancer types when radiation treatment isn't effective enough. The good news is that even if you need Californium-252, you wouldn't have to stump up 27 million bucks for it because it's not really sold by the gram. Most companies that buy it do so by the microgram, and only around half a gram is produced per year. It costs as much as it does because you need a particle accelerator or nuclear reactor to create it, which most people don't just have lying around in their basements. Most people don't go in my basement. It can also only be made in small quantities because of its short life span. Number 3. Mercury Mercury is a silver-white shiny metal that is liquid at room temperature. It's commonly used for thermometers, fluorescent lamps, mercury switches, barometers, and even electrical switches. It is an excellent conductor and is also relied on for amalgamating gold and silver in some mining activities. But it's also incredibly expensive, especially in recent years, sitting at around $3,400 per gallon. It's believed that the price increase is due to demand from small-scale gold mining operations, which are capitalizing on the high gold prices. Mercury price rises are even thought to outpace gold. Rising prices might create some positive and negative problems. For example, businesses might be more inclined to conserve and recycle the mercury they have rather than buying more. They might also be inclined to look for non-mercury alternatives. However, some negative effects might also be seen, such as reduced income for businesses and more exploration of the black market to find unethical mercury. Most experts believe that reducing mercury demand is crucial for reducing the production of new virgin mercury and ensuring better collection and disposal methods of mercury already in circulation. Number 2. Human Blood we need blood to keep ourselves alive, but we sometimes need more than the blood our own bodies are able to produce. If we have an issue with our blood or are injured or are ill, we often rely on the blood of other people, and it is an expensive business. While some people donate blood out of the kindness of their hearts, others sell it. The legalities and best practices around blood sales can depend on the country you're from. For example, you can make up to $50 for selling your blood in the United States, but blood donation for compensation is actually banned in most other countries. You might earn 50 bucks for your blood donation, but your blood is then on sold at around $300. The United States supplies two-thirds of the entire world's supply of plasma from blood, and this costs around $2.7 billion. The costs associated with getting blood are significant. By the time you factor in obtaining the blood, testing it, and distributing it to the people who need it, that blood can cost $300 or more. According to a spokesperson for a blood center in Florida, preparing safe blood is costly, and ensuring blood safety is one of the main driving forces behind its cost. 60% of most blood center costs relate to labor, while the remainder is spent on supplies, building maintenance, equipment depreciation, and utilities. Number 1. Blue Diamond Blue diamonds are among the rarest and most valuable out of all diamonds. While you might spend a decent amount on an artificially colored blue diamond, those produced naturally can cost tens of thousands of dollars for a mere fraction of a carat. Any diamond found in nature with a slight blue tint is called a blue diamond, and they form over periods of billions of years with their color coming from boron in the carbon structure. The more boron there is, the more blue the diamond is. However, blue diamonds are incredibly rare because boron is typically poorly presented as the diamonds form. You might also notice unique shades of blue with more green, gray, and violet in the diamond, and these might have had more exposure to radiation or hydrogen than others. Every diamond is unique, and the same goes for its coloring. Most blue diamonds are graded on a scale with the blue intensity and color forming each gradient. Faint, very light, light, fancy light, fancy, fancy intense, fancy deep, and fancy vivid. The more blue and beautiful the diamond, the more you can expect to pay. You might spend $15,700 on a 0.25 carat light blue diamond, or up to $75,000 for the same carat but on a deep blue or vivid blue diamond.
No one wants their weekly expenses to look like a phone number. But that's the reality when you have expensive taste. What would be the most costly substance you've ever bought, such as saffron, and why? Would you buy it again? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!